Hello all, welcome to uh, Night Vision Builders. This is a quick tutorial on how to take an auto iris out of an auto iris lens. So auto iris CCTV lens, as you can see, third of an inch CCTV lens, uh, 6 to 60mm f1.6 CS. Um, <coughs> so inside the box we have the auto iris lens uh, section here. Yeah, so you can plug it to the back of your CCTV camera body and what that camera body then does is controls the amount of light that comes into the sensor uh, by um, opening and closing the iris and so on. Now we don't really have a need for that um, so we're going to strip that section out as you can see you've got adjustment for near and far here um, and your focus ring and so on okay just to show we take these off you see no light is passing through and that's because when this lens is unpowered the iris is automatically closed so the it's got a little auto iris in this section here what we're going to do is quickly strip that out and that's what this video is about all right so just put this down a sec right so we want to take the auto iris out first thing to do is to remove the uh, three screws from here now, I've already undone those, so what we do is we just pop that off, like so, pop that down, you'll end up with the three little screws left, and uh, the sort of locking ring bit that goes over the top. Next thing, we need to just pull this apart, like so, try and pull from the top section, and then lift it down, and we then expose our uh, auto iris as we can see there okay now all we want to do is to remove that so we just unscrew one of the screws on the side out it comes uh, you may need to unscrew the other one as well on the other side it all depends we'll just gently pinch that back down and in okay so now if we take that off you can see we now see light through so the auto iris is now removed so we just want to now strip this bit off now depending on how careful you want to be if you want to save the auto iris then you can unsolder there and so on or you can just simply pull it apart like so I don't actually care about the auto iris so that's why I just ripped it apart as you can see it just falls into those parts now and then we drop this back together like so so you can either now have the bulky bit on the top uh, the bottom it's your choice where you now have this bulky part um, sitting on your lens um, I find no if you put it on and twist it it locks into the correct position like so yeah but then all you have to do Put your locking ring back on and drop your three screws back in and you now have it says we better hold that back on you now have uh, it set and no auto iris simple 